Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. So I've got some early access to the upcoming Mountain Royals DLC, which is being released on October 31st. Now, I thought we'd try out one of the new civs in action here. Of course, you have two new civs, as well as the Persians, and I would almost say the Saracens are going to be pretty much a new civilization, or at least feel very different. And this is actually my first day playing with them, so I'm still kind of figuring them out, but I've actually gravitated a lot more towards the Georgians. They have kind of a tricky start, like with this mule and minus 50 food. You'll see it's... Uh, you really have to change how you're approaching, especially wood, in the early game. But man, these fortified churches giving you plus 10% work rate throughout your whole town is just crazy. And then also your cavalry are constantly healing throughout the game. Basically, if you can just get your numbers up and just not lose units, then you can constantly chip away at your opponent and be incredibly annoying. So the other one's the Armenians, of course. Although this one, I find them a little trickier to pick up. Kind of more of an archer sieve, I would say. Mostly because the mule cart techs being more effective, like with your lumber camp and your mining, like your gold mining especially, I think fits pretty well with a double archery range opening. Uh, I don't know, both are good. All right, so we're going to go against the extreme AI, which I've noticed seems a little better. It's pretty good at handling archers these days. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just this patch, uh, but playing around with it, its crossbow micro is uh, more human-like than I've ever seen before. So I'm just going to go play safe on Arabia. Uh, although, man, there's some, probably some maps here that would be way better. Yeah, anything like this where you have like a lot of sporadic trees everywhere, being able to move your camps around is pretty great. But I don't think we need to stack things in my favor here too much. Let's just jump in. Alright, so we've got a mule cart here. He's going to help us explore. And let's get situated here. Uh, you guys can do a little bit of exploring. It's kind of hoping we get the, um, the rhino and elephant. I think that's probably a little more to our advantage. Because food is going to be tight. Remember, we start with 50 less food. And that is going to be a recurring issue for us in the early game here. Oh, well, found the turkeys pretty quick. So let's bring them in. So I'm going to be doing a lot more. Notice here I have my sixth villager coming out. And this is real tight. So they do not drop off in time. So I have to force drop off if I want to keep villagers coming out constantly here. Uh, and that's not ideal. And that's just because we're lacking that 50 food. And instead we're getting the uh, mule cart here, which is just standing around. And these do cost, uh, I think it's 100 wood and 20 food. So it's a good deal to only pay 50 food for it. But uh, boy, it makes this start a little tricky. Okay, and it's also why I really like having the African start with the elephant and rhino. It's just all that extra food. It just it actually helps you catch up. Okay, let's bring it in, Turkey. I think you've done a good job. And I suppose you can actually just find a place to go. Okay, so I can't put this on the forge bushes. He doesn't actually collect forge bushes. We're going to have to put him on a wood line or something. And let's just kill him. And is that Turkey done? Oh, it's got nine food left. I just made a video on this, so I'm going to have to take that. And we'll grab this. And actually, I might have him kind of hang out here. And maybe I could use him for wood and stone. Though, it's going to be a really long time from now. So, maybe not. Mm, is that the best one, or should we go over there? Actually, let's go over there. Okay, you're over here. And again, we're still going very heavily on food. I like to get at least 10. Uh, I know it's in the last game uh, that I played. Oh, I've only played one. But you need a lot of food with this sieve early. And really, we don't need wood. Like, if I just build a house right now, I've got zero wood, but here's my camp right there. So I'm already kind of ahead. Oh, let's not let her die. Let's just go 12 on food. I'm just going to try it. I feel like it sets us up for a good scout rush. Okay, that was a little close. I kind of forgot about her, but nobody saw that. Alright, and I think I've got uh, pretty much everything, so I'm just going to scout. I mean, I should push a deer, honestly, if I'm just going in try-hard mode. I really should push a deer. Uh, it's a little risky having all these turkeys out here. All right, so now we're going to start putting guys here. So let's talk about this mule cart for a second. So this thing's even better than you think it is. If you have it select a tree, then it'll actually follow the tree line. So as that tree gets chopped down, it'll pick a new target of a new tree. So as this forest gets chopped down, 
this guy's actually going to move along with it. So you get almost perfect efficiency uh, just about the whole time. And he's also quite small, like this little circle here. So you even get much better pathing around it than a lumber camp. Like it's, uh, it's pretty good. I can get 10 around a turkey, right? It's uh, having a little bit of issue. I can get in there, right? Okay, never mind. We're just going to kill two turkeys. Where's the other turkey? In there, in there. This is where an elephant or rhino would be really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go up 21 pot, I think. But, um... Oh! Let's not get shot. Although, if this guy gets shot, he actually self-heals. So, it might not even be the worst thing. If you get shot under the town center a lot. Uh, as long as you don't lose him, you actually kind of end up being fine. All right, what else? So we're just about ready to click up. So you can see, I probably could click up after this villager at 20 pot, like no problem. And that's even without, um, you know, the elephant and and that. But I'm gonna go up one later. I just want a little bit smoother rush here. And at some point here, I should probably start flipping over to wood. Send you guys over there. Okay, and we are going up to Feudal Age. Good. I don't know, guys, have you noticed that deer seem really, really far away these days? I guess this might have been one of the neutral deers. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just his regular deer. That must have been a change in a patch note that I didn't see. That Maybe it's just Arabia, but it feels like, man, these deer are really far away. They really want you to be out there exploring. And why is he not taking his berries? That's weird. Usually the AI loves its berries. All right, I'm not going to make any farms here. I'm not too worried about my wood. And again, we're going to have some nice efficiency here with this thing. And I think it's already happening. He's already moved on to a different tree. So he's going to keep looking for a close tree, which means he's basically going to follow the lumberjacks. Um, you know, I probably should build arms here. Or we just put a couple on berries. Can't remember the last time I put six on berries, but this is a little bit different civilization. A little bit different start. I'm just going to scout around here. I don't really love how open my map is. Um, I could wall that up. I guess we could wall across there. Uh, we could. All right, we're going to go scouts here. Um, I need that, and I need that. Yeah, I probably went up one more villager than I needed. I feel like I have a lot of resources here. Okay, so he shot me, but my guy's going to slowly heal. It is quite slow, but there you go. He's at 37 HP. And he's going archers. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. As Tataris. A little slow. I'm a little greedy. All right, we need farms. Uh oh, we're gonna have a hard time with food here, I think. And we're already having a hard time with food. Uh, although scouts aren't helping. Okay, yeah, I probably should have built those farms. I got a little greedy there. I think I'm trying to get horse collar first. I don't think I would do that next time. All right, guys, we need to keep villagers coming out here because I need farmers. <laughs> Oops, let's get that in there. Alright, I don't know if I'm just going to go with three scout. Uh, I might try to add more. I didn't manage my food here very well, so we're, uh, we'll see. I'd rather keep the villagers coming out than focus on scouts. We'll just annoy him a little bit. He might fight back. Sometimes if you only have three, the AI will fight back like it is here. Okay, so the thing is, though, I picked off a villager, and yeah, I took a little bit of damage, but these guys will be back to full health in a couple minutes. Or how long specifically? Uh, I think probably like four minutes. I think it'll actually take a little while. All right, but we can harass him. We already got one villager. That's off to a good start. Oh, he's definitely going to fight back here. Oh, I forgot houses. Is there any point getting wheelbarrow? Probably a little early. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you can't lose scouts. That's the one rule. Where are you going? All right, we need to take a couple off. Wood. I uh, do not need 12 on wood. 
And unfortunately, I can't build farms around this, because this thing can only collect from, uh, you know, those three resources. That's all right, though. Where do you keep going? What have I done? I've set the villagers to be sent over there. Okay. So that's my fault then, I see. All right, I'm just gonna let my uh, my guys heal up here. At least this guy, whichever one is on lower or higher HP. We're gonna have him heal up. So far, haven't really played this the best. I uh, kind of sabotaged my food eco, which made my uh, scouts a little slower. But I think I've still got a chance. Although he's beating me in score. What is what is this? Okay, I'm gonna have the injured guy run around. Uh, and when you're feeling better, and I'll heal that, you can come back. Probably should get a blacksmith here. And go with an armor upgrade. That'd be smart. And we should probably get more houses. Oh, not into the spears. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I am going to go back. I'm also going to make... Uh, I think I should. I'm going to make a tower. And let's see what else should we do. Hmm. Armor or attack? I think because of the healing, I kind of prefer armor in this situation. Oh, no. Why don't you guys just uh, hang on there? All right, hopefully this draws him back. I've been pretty greedy here without walls, thinking I would just take the fight to him. And he is not falling for it. Okay, this is why we were going to build a tower. All right, you're going to try to <laughs> come in there? You're going to try to raid me with spears? All right. All right, we're just going to try to pick off villagers here wherever we can. This is going to be a lot more fun when I have my monasteries. All right, we probably should do something about this. <laughs> oh, well, now he's giving up. Okay, well, if you're just going to leave me alone. Okay, hopefully we'll lead him over here. And we're just going to cause a little bit of mayhem there. Uh, yeah, this is not smart. You should not do that. Those spears would do a lot more work back home as you're getting raided. Uh, I don't think I lost any scouts there. I don't see any dead scouts. Okay. Taking a little bit of damage is okay. That's kind of part of the point. Or else I'm not using my bonus. Alright. Oh, man. I should really be thinking about gold here. So we're going to grab that. Okay. Hey, you're not doing what you're supposed to. You're supposed to be following the woodbine. After I told all these nice people that you follow the woodbine, you should really do it. Okay. Maybe it doesn't do it all the time, but if you, every once in a while, give it a, a tree line, it'll follow it automatically. Okay, I got way too much wood. Let's, uh... I have 23 farms, and I am not stockpiling a lot of uh, food. That's crazy. I guess I've been getting a lot of upgrades, so kind of makes sense. And absolutely, no question, we're going to need a market. And we're just going for the full house wall strategy, it looks like. Alright, I would like, at some point here, to have gotten bloodlines, but I did not do that. So we got this explored. I'm trying to scare him with my really high score by exploring everywhere. Let's get one of you guys, maybe, to just run around here. And I just got random villagers everywhere. Let's uh, put more on gold. That's a very uh, guttural sound. <laughs> very glad guttural. Is that glottal? Is that glottal or guttural? Uh, I don't know. A lot of chutzpah. All right, well, he's having a good time chasing my scouts, and this is kind of exactly what I imagined I wanted to do here. 
take the odd shot. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm actually just going to get bloodlines, and I'm going to try to advance here. I mean, I got 23 farmers. There's really no reason. Oh, I'm already advancing. What am I talking about? I was wondering why I was so low on gold. Okay, speaking of which, let's grab the gold mining upgrade. Okay, now i got to decide. Am I going... Am I doubling down on this and going light cavalry, or am I going knights? If I am going knights, I want a couple of more. A couple more on gold. See, yeah, he is kind of following. That's not the tree I told him, right? All right, let's just bring him back, stand on a hill. I do get a little hill bonus. I hate to destroy a house, but I need to get a stable up here. Is there a gap there? No. Sometimes you really can't tell on these hills. That's tricky. Uh-oh. All right. Not the best route to take there. We've got so much food. Okay, I do think... We did make that tower, so I think we're going to have to... Have to do this. I do want a second town center over here. Although, what we really need... You know what? I'm actually not going to go with the town center. Instead... We're going to go with our monastery. I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to put a monastery here. So these I can garrison in, and also, uh, and they fire arrows. They're as strong as town centers, but they also make everything around it work faster. I'm not sure if it applies to farms. I didn't check if it makes the farms themselves faster. Uh, but the farmers will be faster. So all the poorly placed farms, uh, they should be benefiting from that. And I'm also going to put one over here. I don't know if I... I put that there. I'd have to check if that puts all of this in range. It might not. All right, let's see. Let's, um... Yeah, we need more wood for sure. Oh, we definitely don't need more farmers. <laughs> I'm having a pretty good time for food here. All right, you know what? I might as well get light cavalry. And look at this. This army is, like, back to full health. And you're like, wait, but haven't you been running around with these and haven't you only lost, like, I don't know, two or three? How many have I lost? Um, and yet they're all at full health still. And I've been running into archers and spears the whole game. <laughs> Alright, he's Castle Age. Oh, I should get my upgrades. Um, although, really, these monasteries... Just making sure you have monasteries is probably more important than upgrades, depending on how many units you can get together. All right, let's get the armor and the attack before we start fighting spears. Although, come to think of it, he might get um, pikemen, so I should probably just kill those. Hang on, how come these guys aren't moving? All right, there we go. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Now, I don't know if it's smart enough to bunch them, like the archers, up against the wood line. Let's, uh, let's bring everybody back here for a sec. Okay, and you guys... I do want a monk, but I might have to wait for that. And still waiting for upgrades to come in. The attack upgrade is kind of the one I want. I want to be able to get the spears down quick. I guess they're pikemen now. Oh, that's way too much. Let's grab you. I have a real hard time with that. Uh, so let's just do that. You know what? I think I'm just going to ignore his army. I think we're just going to run forward. And maybe if I can just make one more. Let's make one more here, just to make sure all these guys are covered. Um, that is a very strange place to chop wood there, sir. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, you can't get rid of that that way anymore. That's right. What about that? All right, we're just going to dive in. Because I got all my upgrades, right? Yeah, just about. And he seems a little passive. I think he should be attacking me a bit more than he is. But uh, this army can probably also do more damage than his can to me, so. Uh, let's just run around. And again, I just love that everything heals. Like, if we just want to get out of here, you know, run around, take a little bit of town center fire. It's fine, as long as I don't lose any units. All right, let's see if we can just pick off a couple villagers. And maybe not. Okay. And we'll run around. And I just love this play style. <laughs> it's so funny. You just hit and run. You kind of get out of there. And we'll go for more on wood. 
And maybe we'll grab some stone here. Another town center. I could also think about a castle. Oh, I was wondering why they were so slow. It's because I didn't get husbandry. I was thinking that my units seem to be moving very slowly. Uh oh, buddy. I found you. Oh no. Oh no. Poor AI. I mean, it's smart that it tries to branch out its wood economy like this. It would work if you uh, had fortified churches there. And speaking of which, let's put one up here so we get the stone benefit. Uh, let's grab this. Oh, now he is attacking me. Okay, well let's uh, let's go ahead and fight him. Okay, I gotta be careful here. This is. Uh, I mean, why do I not have a siege workshop? That's the real question. All right, let's see its fancy micro. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see it's taking a shot, moving around. I mean, I've kind of got him surrounded here, so he can't really show it off. But sometimes he'll try. He'll shoot and he'll try to like walk away and it'll almost be purposeful in the way that a human player would try to do it. I just kind of got him surrounded there, so. All right, he didn't get to show it off, but trust me guys, it's good. The crossbow micro has really come a long ways. All right, let's grab more. I'm very surprised that these don't cost stone, these fortified churches, because they fire. And actually, if you put in a relic, last game I noticed that if you put a relic inside of these, it actually fires an arrow passively. So that counts as being, counts as being garrisoned, which is kind of cool. Okay, here's our main army. You know what? I might just want to heal this up. And I might even bring a, a monk to help with that. Monk or two. And I'll grab this little hill bonus, because again, I get 15% less damage on higher elevation. Uh, on top of the regular elevation advantage. All right, so we're going to move over there. And normally you're thinking, Spirit, what are you doing? You're going to throw your villagers away. This is like the AI. But no, I'm not going to throw them away because I can just put a couple monasteries around. And take the whole, I don't even have the lumber camp sitting around. These guys are just going to come over and just move to this wood line. It's perfect. You know what? Let's just take all you guys. All right, castle drop time. Uh, this is probably the safe place to put it. Got this. Uh, I have no gold. Interesting. Why don't we go here? What else do I need? Uh, armor would be great. Attack, sure. I kind of wish the select all military button didn't also grab my monks. It's uh, a little more tedious than it has to be. To deselect them every time. Alright, so what are we waiting for? I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more upgrade, at least cavalier, before I go charging into a bunch of pikes. <laughs> Alright, we should be just about fine. And then maybe we'll go in and start trying to heal them. All right, maybe we should make a couple more of these. It's going to be having a little more pathing issues than I was expecting, but it's all right. We're doing great for resources. I've only got 15 on wood, and I just keep stockpiling it. All right, at this point, I think we flip to what to me is kind of the, the real end game here with the Civ, which is we want this tech, which lets cavalry take up 15% less pop space. And then we just spam Hazar for days. Uh, although I need way more on food if I'm gonna do this. Bring him back. Um, where am I gonna get a bunch of villagers? Again, I don't really like the monks being in that group. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to transition to this. <laughs> uh, I definitely don't have the food, though. Uh, 
to do the full thing of what I want to do. So I don't have Paladin. That is a little unfortunate. And these units are basically generic. It's just that slow self-healing. Which, to be fair, did also get faster in Imperial Age. Let's go here. I uh, still want this, although I'm not really that close to my pop limit yet. Alright, I think the AI might actually resign here. I think my score is starting to <laughs> look pretty good. But honestly, I feel like this kind of showed at least the way, you know, early days here. And these are very early days for me. Um, shows the way that I like to play them. So you get a good scout rush. You go into this super defensive, you know, everywhere. Even if he came in here, I would just drop all the villagers into the fortified church. And they're so cheap and have so much firepower. Wow, he's never going to pick off a villager. And there it calls the GG. Um, yeah, now obviously the next step here would have been to try to get my farmers up to probably 50. And then I could switch into Hazars. And I would get that unique tech at the castle so that, you know, for every uh, six population space I have, I can have seven Hazars. And just start spamming Hazars everywhere once these Cavalier are dead. Although, if you notice, like, everything's almost at full health. It's, uh, you know, there's a few taking shots here, but all the little incidental damage that units take, I, I really think that that adds up fast. And these things are so good. I really think they probably will ultimately cost stone and, and maybe only be a 5% passive boost. But, you know, again, people don't really know how to play these sibs right now, and their start is kind of difficult. So, I don't know. We'll see where they land. They feel pretty strong to me, though. And this is what happens. I mean, yes, part of this is, yeah, it's just the extreme AI, but this is what happens when you start getting your cavalry death ball going, and it can heal up in between every fight, so you just don't lose incidental units all that often. Because it's not like my largest army was that much bigger than his. I mean, I had tech advantages as well. I was typically an age ahead of him. Or, well, maybe not. I only had a two-minute castle age advantage on him. Yeah, the AI can really boom. Ah, oh, that's smarter about relics than me. So anyway, that's the Georgians, and hopefully you guys found that interesting. Definitely a very fun cavalry sieve, and also really suit people who like to just turtle up and just want to play a very defensive game. That'll do it for this one, though. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.